Authorities had long known stigma was going to be an issue in Nigeria's fight against the Ebola virus. We've been able to manage the Ebola. The whole world is happy with us. And we must tell the world that we have managed the Ebola and no Nigerian should be segregated because of Ebola. But that's exactly what some Nigerians have faced abroad, even after the World Health Organization declared Nigeria Ebola-free. Officials have not only been protesting this kind of treatment abroad, they have also been taking measures to stop any form of discrimination against survivors at home. Anybody who feels stigmatized can petition the Ministry of Justice and they will take that matter up because it's not fair, it is not right. One sector that suffered the most in the wake of the Ebola outbreak in Nigeria was the hospitality industry. A number of foreigners either left or avoided coming to Nigeria in the heat of the Ebola crisis. But authorities are now trying to woo them back. Officials of Lagos State held this small ceremony recently to reassure foreign visitors that not only is the city Ebola free, but also prepared in case there was any new outbreak. Lagos is safe, secure for all our visitors. They can come to transact business, businesses, and they can come to live in Lagos. It's business as usual here in Lagos. The memory of Ebola is fast fading away. So too is the discrimination associated with it. Now, while Nigeria is no doubt facing a challenge dealing with the discrimination problem abroad, many here believe it's only a matter of time before that situation changes. Deja Badmore, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.